Hello and welcome back to ESEC Virtual Training. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna walk you through the thought process that I have when I'm training myself with Kobudo. Today we're gonna to go over Sai and we're gonna go over Bo. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. So in the beginning, what I like to do is some basic warm-ups. From here, I'm just gonna go, you know, side, side, kuduchi. Forward, forward. And the reason I warm up is just so I feel a little bit better, a little bit more comfortable when I'm doing my side basics or side training. Once I have my warm-up down, I'm gonna probably go through some basics and combinations of putting together different techniques. So right now what I'm focusing on is body positioning. How is my body moving while I'm flipping the side? How can I generate more power, more speed, uh, more, more graceful movements? So I notice that when I'm doing this, I want my body and my side to move at the same time. Start and finish at the same time. You see me feels a little bit more strong as I'm going in. I want that fruit to come about. Always want to check your stances. Again, body alignment, body positioning. Where are you attacking? So one of my favorite basics here, you mean rotate your body and flip the side. I'm gonna try to lock the back leg, push out the heel. I think I want a little bit more bounce at the end of my side. So I want to focus on relaxing the pinky and then tightening everything up as it, as it hits. Let me try that going forward. See if I can get more flick, more snap. I notice I tense up a little bit, so I just gotta relax a little more while I'm going through these movements. Now let's get the bow. Um, I'm using a small bow, one, so you, know, you can practice at home. Uh, you can use this kind of a bow, it's much, much shorter due to space constraints. The other thing is I want to be able to capture this in the video so that you can see I'm still sliding my bow. So we're sliding my hands here. So as you can see, I'm still move, making that movement that's required when you're doing 
various bow techniques and exercises. But, um, so yeah, it's possible with a small bow. With bow, I'm gonna do the same thing. Simple, quick warm up. I'm trying to focus on hearing the snap and feeling the snap at the end of it. I don't want to damage my body by going in and hitting really hard. So that's why at the, right at the end of my strikes, I have a slight body movement just to snap at the end of it. Another one is always trying to make sure you can move the bow. This one I like. I like to practice this one. At the end of it, I like to give a little ski at the end of it. So crazy, then slight twist. Feels a little bit more powerful. And like you're driving the technique. Maybe this one forward as well. Yeah. One of my favorite basics is going to be here. I like to switch hands because it's that hand transition. I want it to be as smooth as possible. My goal here is to catch the, catch the ball as it slides down. The same section my other hand is at. That one feels better. It's just uh, getting used to swinging the ball on this side on the, with the left hand lead. And then another one's gonna be the screen again. And then of course, uh, another one you wanna practice is always gonna be you know, whatever you're in, but your skull. Zangsu or Han Zeng Zetsch, you always want to practice pulling back. So let's go from Zeng Zetsch. Pulling back from the, uh, for the Kamai. The biggest one here is going to be that feeling at the end. You really want to focus on applying forward pressure towards an opponent or even towards you know, whatever you're practicing with, and it gives you a better feeling at the end of your contest. So that one's really important to me. Deliberately leaning forward here, but I do want to apply Just a little bit of that pressure. And I want to focus on getting in and striking at the same time as, I'm, as my feet are landing. All right, you guys, that's all. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of how I think when I'm practicing. I like to go through movements multiple times to make sure that one, I understand what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and then two, so that my body can remember it as well. Next time you practice, think about what you're doing when you're practicing and see if that helps to improve your speed, power, technique, snap, or even just your, you know, your overall form. 
and see if you can identify some of the things that you need to work on when you're going through your practices. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we will see you next time and have a good one. Bye.